Okay, here we go. This is the third comparison for the Songbird Network wallets, the main ones, Ledger, Descent, and Bifrost. Um, this video is going to be a little bit longer because I'm actually going to go through the whole process of from starting wallet from scratch, just in case people do not, you don't know how to do that at all. Um, also, we'll show you how to import new coins, uh, get the addresses, um, how to wrap, delegate, receive, send. Um, also, um, do some liquidity pool, show you liquidity pool quickly, and also making canned coins, the stable coin of Songbird. So here we go. You can either download it from your Play Store or your iOS Store. Decent. Make sure it's the decent one. Um, there's a couple different things about this wallet which I do like and I don't like. Um, first off, the biometric wallet is really, really awesome. Um, so, you know, cold wallet, I suggest getting it. Um, the card wallet only does Ethereum coins and it's... Yeah, no, it's not worth it. Not worth it at all. And now we're, this is the Sapphire app one. So we're going to try wallet app. So set the password up. And I'm going to destroy this app, this wallet app first anyway, so there's no point of trying to get into it or anything. So, okay, so basically here it's going to tell you, it's telling you this is a decentralized wallet, um, and they're going to give you keys. The thing about your keys are basically it's your wallet. You could you know, erase the application off your phone. You could destroy your cold wallet, lose it, whatever. But as long as you have your key phrases, you can recover it anytime you want to. So now that said, the key phrases are very important. So you never want to store them on your phone, take a picture of them, put them on a cloud device or anything. Because if a hacker gets into them or someone knows how to get into your stuff, emails or anything, um, they can take those keys, open the app up, and import everything in there, and then boom, there you go. So you, I mean, I wouldn't even suggest putting a safety powers box. That's just me. This isn't financial advice. It's just my recommendations for how to keep your wallet safe. Um, the reason why you save a safety deposit box because what happens if you need your keys, you can't get to it. We can't get into it because maybe you just lost that key too. You know, a bunch of keys, a bunch of keys. But anyways, so that all said, grab a sheet of paper um, and grab a pen and, and let's have some fun. So you hit, I understand. So here, it says, please back up your wallet. So if you don't want to back up your wallet and you don't care about your keys and you just want to take the risk, you're more than welcome to. I'll show you how this wallet works. You have your account page. You can search for basic coins. Then you have your collectibles where you can get your NFTs, non fungible tokens. Discovery, this is one thing I do like with this app over um, uh, Bifrost is that we have actual DAP list. And then also, too, you can choose your network. Sorry, my recording thing was in the way. You can choose your network. And if you're going to be doing, like, for example, Songbird, or you're not on Ethereum, your stuff won't be able to connect because it's the wrong network. So make sure we'll do it right now, switch to Songbird. That's what we're going to be on. But then your manager, you can choose between your software wallet, your biometric wallet, and your car wallet. And then last but least, you have your settings. Let me just quick, make it easy because I'm going to flip in between uh, applications quickly. Uh, I'm not updating it because I don't see a point right now because it's going to erase the wallet. So... Go back here. So now here, directly from here, you can actually go to the actual website and actually buy, you know, the hardware if you want to buy one. Here's the guys right there. Um, so let's back up here. Yeah. So start back up. This is where you write your codes down. So hit start back up. Usually it says share. It says do not share your code with others, but it says share. It's kind of funny. Like once again, if you share it, then that means it's been transmitted. So you write those down. The exact order. Um, the backup's complete and you're done. Um, there you go. Tuck those away. Apple app wallet recovery is basically, let's say you need to recover your app and your keys. Boom, boom. You type them right there. Hit recovery. Erase everything else on the wallet though already. So let's go for Songbird. Go to accounts. You hit the plus symbol. You type in Songbird. And there it is. It pops up. So you can label every one too. I'm just going to create. And there we go, there's your Songbird tokens. So now, we need to get our wrapped Songbird tokens displayed, put in here. So the way you do that, is you need the token address. So through here, go to Detail Histories, and hit Full History. Open that up. And then you get this. So this will kind of give you like a history of like your wallet and stuff, but you go to the upper hand corner, three bars, choose tokens. And then boom, the whole list of the Songbird for uh, 
addresses for the coins. So, they've added more since last time I saw them. So, we're going to choose Rap Songbird. You copy that big east of a number. And then we'll go back to the wallet. Back out of here, hit plus sign. Add custom token. Go down, choose Songbird. Choose Songbird, hit next. Paste. And it does it all for you. You can name it again. Boom, there it is. So now, what you want to do is you want to send your Songbird to this wallet. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit Songbird thing. The screen pops up. Hit receive. Boom, you can either copy and paste this in the address off to someone or you can scan it, QRC code it. So your Songbird comes on in. Okay, so what's next? How do you wrap it? How do you delegate it? How do you actually get them to re get the compound anxious to go in? So what you do is, middle button, hit discover, and then, this is what we're going to kind of copy and paste quickly. I'll put all the links for the, all the sites that we go to down below in the description. Touch your phone today. Boom. So here it's gonna ask you to connect your wallet. You can switch accounts if you have other accounts here and like that, but no, nope. so connect wallet, connect, boom, see if the rate says wrap beta, that's versus signboard, that's where you know and so is the wallet's connected. So also too, I'm gonna bookmark this. So I'll show you in a minute here. So here your song this your signboard tokens would normally show up. Um, and what you do is basically make sure you leave some songbird tokens back for gas because for, for delegating and also for wrapping on wrapping on delegating stuff. So you hit wrap coins and then it'll give you an equal amount for like one for one. So once you have your wrap coins, what do you do with them? This is how you kind of, uh, you delegate. What you do is every Thursday morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, UTC time, UCT time, um, they lock, they, you have to have a coin by then. And they keep them there up until Saturday or later, depending on which wallet you're using. Um, Bifrost seems to be pretty slow on it right now. A couple days behind. Uh, here, um, decent, and I got Saturday. So I was able to move my coins out and do other stuff with it. But basically, you get the, once you delegate, um, you can leave them there as long as you want. You know, you just never have to deal with it again. But once every 30 days, you do have to log in and claim rewards. If not, to go back to the system. But you can also, too, by doing this, you can move your coins out and bring them to another part of the the chain and start making more money with you know, compound interest while they're still being delegated. So now here, you basically, you've got your wrapped coins, they'll show up in the WSGB for wrapped. If we had coins in here, your W, this right here would show, and see you can send and receive and stuff, but it would show reflected down there. So next, we're going to go back to discovery. I'm going to hit the home button. And if you notice you bookmarked it, it's right there. So whenever you want to go there, you don't have to type anything in. Link's right there. So let's go to Flarex. Connect your wallet. Bookmark it. Okay, so now here it is Flarex. This is where you know um, converts into your SGB coins to can coins, which are the stable coins. Once again, you go back to that token list, you get the address, input it, and the plus sign, add the custom token, and boom, you'll be able to see it. So what you need to do is, for right now, you need at least 1,800 songbirds just to make the can coin. So you put it in there, and boom, it's not an even ratio, it fluctuates off and on. One thing I do like about the whole Ledger Live desktop setup is that when you're using MetaMask, you, MetaMask, you actually do see a graph to show what the actual price is, so you can wait and stuff. Um, so after you do that, if you want to, you can go into the liquidity, liquidity pool. You need 100% of your SGB um, ratio to can to actually go into this, um, but I'll get into that for later dates. So that's pretty much it. Um, so far, out of all three wallets, I do like uh, Descent the best. Um, yeah, you have to take that one extra step to wrap your coins, 
but when it comes to their X, it's the same thing in all, th all three of them. So Decent's got the cold wallet. Bifrost doesn't. Ledger is just too technical and too slow and glitchy. Until next time, thank you.